Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you real simple and easy way to find the area of this given triangle, which has three vertices, as you can see over here. And the condition is that one of these vertices must be zero, zero. That means it must be at the origin. As you can see that one of our vertices is zero, zero. The very first thing I wanna make sure that you just simply disregard this zero zero okay just ignore this one we will not need this point so what that means is we're going to end up just these two points as you can see right up here and we know that the area of a triangle is always equal to a half time base time height but in our case as you can see we don't know the base value and the height value so that means we're not going to use this formula we are going to use this formula instead so this time the area of triangle is equal to 1 over 2 times out minus in let me explain it to you what that means so here out means we're going to be multiplying exterior numbers and in means we're going to multiply the interior numbers as you can see 2 and 1 are exterior numbers 3 and 4 are interior numbers. So now we're going to calculate the area of this given triangle. So we know the formula is what? 1 over 2 times out means we're going to multiply the exterior numbers. 2 times 1 is 2 minus. You must put a minus sign in between and then 3 times 4 you multiply the interior point that is 12 so let's simplify that thing that is going to be 1 over 2 times negative 10 that is going to give you negative 5 and we know that the area is always positive so that negative 5 is going to simply become positive 5 Thus, the area of this given triangle turns out to be positive 5 square units. That is our answer. So let's move on over to our next example. The similar way, okay, one of our vertices is at the origin 0, 0. So once again, as we did in the previous example, I just want you to ignore this 0, 0, 0. We no longer need it. So that means we ended up these two points only, as you can see that. So in the next step, we're going to be using this formula to find the area of the triangle, as we did in the previous example. And in this case, our exterior points are 3 and negative 1, and our interior points are 3 and 3. So the area of this triangle is going to be a half times the we're going to multiply the exteriors first 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 and after that one you must put a negative sign I'm going to use minus sign and then you multiply the interiors this is 3 times 3 is 9 so let's simplify that one so that is 1 over 2 this is going to give you negative 12. So negative 12 means this is going to give you negative 6. And we know that the area is always positive. So that means this negative 6 is going to become positive 6. So thus the area of our given triangle turns out to be positive 6 square unit and that is our answer and now here is our final example similarly we have been given three vertices and one of them is zero zero so once again as we did in the previous examples i want you to just simply throw away this zero zero so we ended up with these just these two points as you can see and now we're going to be using this formula to find the area of the triangle. 
and you can see our exterior points in our case are 3 and 3 our interior points are negative 2 and 5 so let's go ahead and calculate the area of this given triangle so once again the formula is 1 over 2 times the multiply we multiply the exterior numbers 3 times 3 is 9 and once again there's a minus sign so make sure you put a minus sign and then you multiply the interior numbers which is negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. So now we can see that 1 over 2 when you have a 2 negative sign that becomes plus sign 10 so that is going to give you 1 over 2 times 19 and that is going to give you 9.5 thus our answer is the area of this triangle is 9.5 square units and that's our answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more exciting videos bye bye